Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough, then also you can search for yourself, but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always, keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. Roach Mom, who used to be Fox Mom in Niti Sanji, who is now in V Shoujo as Roach Mom Matarakan, has spoken out and I did cover this a little bit but now we actually have a more set in stone, smaller clip that I can show you guys about what happened to her, about uh, they still wanted her money and merch after graduation. Seems the Sanji contract is indeed a that contract. So let's see what she actually says here on all of this. I'm happy with my decision. And even with all the pain I went through, I am very proud that that was something in my life because it taught me, it taught me about NDAs, first of all. Yeah. It taught me about keeping my, my fucking mouth shut. It taught me a lot of stuff that I think I wouldn't have been able to learn otherwise. And I'm very, very grateful. I mean, I met you, I met Mochi, I met Mind. I, I met people that I'm still very close with. Speaking of NDAs and Mochi, she was telling me, I'm actually curious about you now, but she was uh -huh. telling me when she left her previous job, she didn't even like, I remember sign anything. Just, I did. You did? So she just... <laughs> You know what? They still owe me like $400 because Wait, it's probably a little more because I sent back my phone oh. and uh, they never paid me back for that. Oh, and... for like shipping? Yeah. All right. Hey, you know, when uh, when I left, I was like, <laughs> they sent me a message. They're like, hey, uh, would it be okay if we, the way they, they would do this, they, is it okay if we restock this merchandise? And I was like, actually, thank you for asking. I would prefer that you didn't. I would really just want to leave and let everybody yeah. lie, lie down. They're like, oh, no, 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 we weren't asking. We're just letting you know that we're restocking this merchandise. And I was like, okay, then why did you say, is it okay? Why did you say, is it okay? But they did restock a lot of merchandise right before I left. And I'm supposed to receive a percentage of that. Oh, um, I don't like think you. I'm ever receiving, I don't think I'm ever going to receive that percentage. I don't think I'm, Right. I never received it. And it's one of those things where it's like, like, they they definitely they definitely got merch again before when I was leaving to sell it. There's even stuff with me, you know, like there's, there's like plushies and stuff that are still in those crane games and stuff. Oh that are around. yeah. There's also a lot of anime stuff that's still around. So when I went to Japan. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, when I was in anime, I was like, oh 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 oh, there's me and there's <laughs> I was like, oh. Yeah, at this point, I don't even give a shit. I think the way some of this stuff works with a lot of places is the way they do it is like they pay you out because anime will order a certain amount. Yeah, right, and they want to sell the stock. But you technically should get paid as they order the product. Right. Technically, that's how it should be but yeah there's definitely a lot of that stuff which again you know what whatever yeah it's worth it's it you know one thing i had to ask, i had to ask if i could pay to get myself re-rigged oh. and it wasn't, it wasn't something i was allowed but i was like please can i pay to get a re-rigging please i beg you it was very iconic stiff you had a very stiff big mouth like when you oh it was nice everybody needs to understand all i could do was just like semicolon d that's yeah, all yeah, i yeah. could do and that is a problem that is the big oh problem God, that's faced was... when it comes to this this is what the reason why i wanted to bring it back up again She's owed money for the shipping because, of course, they're going to cover the shipping. That's what they were supposed to do. That's what most companies do. Pretty sure Hololive, Face Connect, heck, even Idle the End and others would cover it if that happened. So that is an issue that I have personal gripes against, I have personal beef against, because, number one, if they're making money off of you, it's also with the merchandise they should give you a percentage of course there's a tiny percentage we know it's like two percent with merch but let's say they sold ten thousand dollars that's still two percent of ten thousand dollars still like 200 bucks you know what i mean it's still something it's uh very little or 200 bucks yeah it's like 200 bucks it's very little but um it's still something that they owe you technically through the contract uh i guess technically they don't have to or they feel they don't have to because the contract's over but a lot of things are done badly and if, of course she wanted to pay to be re-rigged why did she want to pay to be re-rigged because as mr slash kudo kudo now says that rigging was trash it was bad it was stiff you couldn't do anything like she said she can only do cold and d really bad initial rigging and that is bad for an organization of course you have certain rigging styles that are prominent in JP spheres, in the spheres that they use and the things that they do. And that's kind of normal. But if someone wants to at least be re-rigged and they're like, oh, we can't pay for it. It's like, okay, I'll pay for it. And you still say no, that's messed up. We move on to Mori Calliope. Everyone knows who she is. She is from Hololive EN Myth, one of the, you know, initiators of the whole EN boom. And she recently has spoken out about something that happened with her getting the human malware, as we all know what it is. She ended up getting permanent lung damage from that. Let's talk about it. Oh yeah, so I went to the, the doctor yesterday, you guys, and uh, it turns out probably early-ish, September-ish, without knowing it, and possibly from being in the great old NYC, I caught myself the sea bug. And I didn't know that I had it the whole time, but my body is very strong at defending against 
um, that kind of stuff, because I'm very well, my body's very well fortified, but I got it without even knowing it. I, I recovered from it pretty quick, um, and thank goodness I didn't spread it, because, yeah, I was just in my own home streaming. It was fine, but um, there's been permanent damage done to my lungs that, like, some of it will heal, some of it will not. I got an x-ray, and the doc showed me the permanent damage on my lungs. <laughs> and he's like, look at those scars. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Yikes. Um, and I said, will the stabbing pain go away? And the doc said, it should go away eventually, but you have to stop coughing. And I'm still coughing due to some of the damage that is left over. It's not major enough to really, really affect me, but the scars are visible, especially like the pulmonary scars. And um, yeah, he said the pain in the lungs won't go away until I completely stop coughing. So I got a bunch of medicines. Yeah, I think when they say damage, they're just scars. Well, that's what I get for thinking I'm invincible. And that's an issue, of course. Because there are long-term effects of that. You know, there's there's water that gets in the lungs, there's inflammation, there's all these other issues that can happen with it. Coughing, of course, can make it raspy, 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 and get really, really big damage on the lungs. She unfortunately got that damage. Unfortunately, this is something that's going to be with her for the rest of her life. Uh, it is a life-changing injury. It absolutely is a life-changing injury. And it is permanent. Uh, hopefully, it will not affect her singing, it will not affect anything like that. It will affect her lung capacity, I believe, because of all the scars and things like that. Of course, it is never a good thing to see this, never a good thing to say this, but yes, Callie did get some damage from the sea bug, as she calls it. Fubuki and Miko had a collab with HP. Yes, that HP, Hewlett Packard, the PC company. Those two are coming back. And you have, um, here we go, Fubuki. And it says, we will thoroughly reduce hull lollies uh, without any second thought. HP sign is against Yoroi. And here we go, uh, going on of what they're saying here. Miko is saying, Miss Fubuki Miko, who received another project at HP, to be HP's last day. I'm going to be a great salesman. Waiting room. And here's their Miko thing. Basically, they're trying to sell. <laughs> so they're probably gonna have one of those things that a lot of other people have where they have they're given like a pc and such like that and see how it goes and streaming with it and all that kind of stuff <laughs> they're talking about the destruction of g uh, of of it yeah they're gonna be receiving that's the that's the omen pc they're gonna be receiving AMD Ryzen 8000, which is 8000, is the um, the I believe the replacement for the 5000G and those that have a built-in uh, graphics processing unit, a built-in APU as they call it, uh, and that's what they're going to be getting, I think. They're going to get a 4060 Ti. They're having a a liquid cooler. Other things here. The NV. All the different ones. Oh, and they had like a little game show of, of uh, question and answer thing. It's a, it's a whole sponsor segment, pretty much. So yeah, and here we have. We will publish here the documents we received from groups caught themselves Shiranui Construction and Dorobo Construction. Please note that we may take strict action against you during the broadcast. As a professional, I look forward to our sponsored broadcast. So, so they're 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 kind of having they're they're, they're throwing some back and forth. They're throwing some back and forth here. Um, looking forward to it. Wasn't able to buy one this time, and so looking forward to releasing a more powerful PC. So yeah, it's basically them advertising the PCs for them, which is what happens a lot of times. And then uh, Polka's like responsibility. What? Kind of <laughs> like what? That's kind of thing. But it's it's fun. It's fun that they made it, you know, tongue in cheek thing, not so serious. It's always great to see that. Shinonome Reis is a VTuber who is has decided to graduate. They're he him. They're a Japanese VTuber. They were joined with this person here, Ikezaki, Ikezaki Misa, and uh, who had 150k followers. Shinami Reis had uh, 66.5k followers on on uh, Twitter. They were mainly on Pixiv, those type of things, DMM.co, those type of places. They had merch and things like that. So they've been around. There was an announcement recently made of the a graduation of, uh, or at least ending of activities of Shi Shion Shionishima Reis, basically. Thank you for your continued support of Shinoshima Raids. This is sudden news, but the streaming activities will end on November 30th of this year. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to all the fans who supported him as an active artist. We are very sorry to have to make this announcement. The background. 
Originally, they had planned to limit streaming activities to the release of the second doujinshi, but from beginning of my activities, there were strict restrictions in place due to branding of my work, which put a strain both on my body and mind and pushed me to a state where I was no longer able to continue my activities. In addition, I repeatedly, they repeatedly violated consent form that was established to prevent such things from happening in the future. That to the early end of my activities. I apologize for being due to my shortcomings regarding the second doujinshi. There's a violation we would like to originally plan to cancel publication, but we kindly received permission to continue production and we'll continue writing the second book. So they have a doujinshi out. It's going to be going out. Been under the care for the past two years. It's beautiful, seductive voice and multifaceted talents have given me existence of Shinoshima Rays. Truly grateful, though there are a few days left. I will be posting some original music videos. So I'd appreciate it if you can continue to support me. Here's another thing that I wanted to put out there because that confused the heck out of me. I confused the heck out of me. So let's see what else goes on. Thank you very much for your continued support. As announced on Ikazaki Misa's X, formerly Twitter, we will be ceasing activities as of November 30th. We apologize for the inconvenience, but please check Ikazaki Misa's X. In addition, the reason given for the end of her activities is that Ikazaki violated many of the agreements signed by both parties. So both Ikazaki and uh, this other person as well are both ending their time. So it's not only Raze, it's Ikazaki as well, it looks like. Many other violations have been discovered. Mainly, selling and reselling many goods that are only available in certain countries without permission. And using ideas from Shinoshima for her own goods without permission. So Shinoshima is mentioning the other things that Ikazaki is putting out there. Furthermore, Billy Billy tried to cover up the facts by deleting her Weibo post on Billy Billy apparently. We have called her many times, but she has not answered and has not responded. Due to the above, we have temporarily made all the videos and distribution archives on this channel private. As soon as we receive contact and confirm the facts, we intend to delete these posts and make the currently private archives available again. We look forward to hearing from you in good faith. We are sorry for causing concern and anxiety for those who enjoy the channel. I'm very sorry. The music video for my original song, uh, the, the raises is an original song, uh, will be uploaded on November 30th, and that will be the last one. Until then, I'll be streaming irregularly on Twig Casting, so I hope it will come to join us if you're interested. Once again, I'm very sorry that the outcome has been like this. I am honored and humbled by all the support I've received so far. Thank you so much, Shinoshima Rays. So both Ikazaki and Shinoshima, from what it looks like, are going to be ending their activities. And uh, a lot of things seem very strange. And it says, I posted the details on the YouTube community, which is what I looked at right here, over here. This post two days ago, took a look at it. It's infighting, it seems like. Incorrectly sending out information, incorrectly uh, using um, commercial rights that they do not have to make money on the side, it seems like. A lot of things are confusing, but it seems like they were uh, putting merch out on their own when they should have been putting it out under the... Uh, approved channels and things like that. So they're both going to be ending activities or at least uh, ending things for now. And uh, then maybe something will pop up later. It's very confusing. It's very, very weird. But this is what I'm getting out of the information. You guys have all the information that I have here. So you guys can make your decision as well. That's why I put it out there because I could be very wrong. And you guys could give me insight as you always do. Check out the trailer for VTumbler and remember to wish this the game on Steam. What is VTumbler? Let's see and what it is through their trailer for it. Uh, Big Bang Studio. VTumblr is Swap S4 Productions. It is a, I guess the closest thing would probably be a Candy Crush type thing, but it's like a, it's, yeah, it's like a Candy Crush type of thing. Tetris, it's a Tetris 99 maybe. Uh, Chibi Doki, that's Chibi Doki on the right. And that is uh, Fifi on the left. They have, you know, Chibi Doki. They have, I think they also have um, Project Melody, other people out there. They're going to have a lot of people out there. It's basically a Tetris 99 type thing, but, uh, or, or Candy Crush, whatever you want to call it, uh, where you fight against each other that way. I think Toho also has something like that. Different ones have had it. Demo's out now on Steam. Check it out. Exciting news. VTumbler game trailers now featured on Opera, Opera GX officials GX Corner. Huge thanks. They're also here. We're thrilled to announce that our demo is now live on Steam. And we've also been featured in Next Fest. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of good news has been popping out. Here we have them, of course, Big Bang Studio mentioning Time to rock with some of your favorite Oshis. VTumbler Kickstarter is live. Support Kofefe and Fifi. And uh, Chibidoki and friends as they create a PvP puzzle fighter game. Bringing game to life, hitting stretch goals and extra content and nodes and rewards. Of course, you have all these other ones here. These are things that I had mentioned before. And Freem joins the fight. We're delighted to announce the third VTuber to join the VTumbler roster is your typical S-head demon, Freem, who is a rather large creator, 84.9k followers on Twitter. And there you go. Play the demo now on Steam. Yeah, it looks like Cottontail VA might be back there. Yeah, I think Cottontail VA might be the one on the very far right. Absolutely. Looks like it might be Cottontail VA. Maybe a buff pup on the left. We don't know. We don't know until it actually pops out. It could be anybody. 
But uh, yeah, could be a buff pup on the left, maybe a Cottontail VN on the right, maybe an Iron Mouse somewhere here and there. Could be something like that. You don't, you don't know until it comes out. But it is an interesting game, and it is an indie game. So, of course, if you can support it, go ahead and support it. The Doki has announced that four of their girls are going to be showing up at SumiCon. Each of the ladies will be taking part in their first virtual meet and greet as Vidoki on Sunday, September 27th, October 27th, sorry, October 27th, from 1 to 1.50 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks to Ada Culture that we have this wonderful opportunity. Thank you so much and hope we all have fun. Vidoki is, of course, the VTuber group making your heart go doki doki. And here's their profile. There's the, there's their girls and uh, newest Vidoki members are all have all been mentioned recently. This is their most recent ones so yeah they're the ones going there they're gonna be having fun it's gonna be a good thing for everybody people are excited it's going to be so much fun mega hype the girls are like just very hyped people are get, getting very hyped um lily morgan morgan oh my god can't wait to see these cuties proud of you guys everyone's just gonna be very excited about this and of course i wanted to mention this because even though they are a smaller agency i do like pushing this type of news to you guys because I think you guys should be able to see everything, not just your know, Hololive and those types of things. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, where I'd like to go and showcase VTubers that are up and coming. And of course, trying to use my little bit of reach, my tiny bit of reach out there to at least help people in this very, very, very uh, flooded environment of VTubers, very crowded environment of VTubers to so at least be seen by somebody. Today we have Alyssa Saisei. She is a part of, she is Cyberpunk Wolf Hybrid, she is Monday and Tuesday, and uh, she is, you know, she is putting stuff out like, you know, Spaceball. I've never had, I've never had a score anywhere near that high in Spaceball. I wasn't really good at it. Let's let, take a look at their channel. They're saying here, uh, the About Me, Alyssa, I'm the Matriarch of Shadow Brigade. I go by many names, She Devil, Alice, Alice, and a few TOS I wouldn't like, like not allow. Stream FPS games and some Hoyoverse titles. Sometimes I'll stream other games as also I'll be aiming for 100% achievements on some games as well. So they're one of the few that goes to 100% achievements. I don't do that. Uh, I don't have the patience to do that. I just, I also, you know, I have, I have ADHD, the tism, all that kind of stuff, the autism, all that kind of stuff. So it, it kind of distracts me way, way, way too fast. I lose interest in things very fast. And then I hyperfixate on other things. It's very weird the way that goes. But more on to Alyssa. Here we go. Let's take a look at what they've been doing. All right. All set when you are. Yo. Um, also, don't forget to bring a UV in there. This is, of course, Phasmophobia. It has changed a lot since the last time I've played it. A lot. How old are you? Where are you? So that's the kind of uh, stuff that they've been doing recently. They also play Halo a lot in case if you enjoy Halo and people who play Halo, they play Halo a bunch as well. And of course, when they have a YouTube site, I do put it on the YouTube site here. Here's Alyssa at uh, there one month ago. They had their stream BGM out there. And this is their YouTube channel that they're going to start putting more stuff on when they have the chance. Of course, when you get busy with work and life and things like that, uh, sometimes you can't put out as much content as you would like, but they do their best. So, of course, Alyssa, thank you as well for letting me put you on the VTuber Showcase. I do hope this helps you grow and I hope this helps you have a little bit of you know stuff out there for yourself, a little bit of eyes and things like that on your content. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.